हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट इन्फिनटिजिमल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ना स्टूडेंट्स एक्चुअली फॉर अ गिवन ली ग्रुप देर आर थ्री वेज ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग इट द फर्स्ट वे इज रिटर्न डाउन हेयर लाइक इट इज अ लोकल फॉर्म द अदर वे इज एक्स ऑफ एक्स वाई इन टू एप्सिलॉन प्लस ऑर्डर ऑफ एप्सिलॉन स्क्वेयर एंड वाई बार इज इक्वल टू वाई प्लस कैपिटल वाई ऑफ एक्स वाई टाइम्स एप्सिलॉन प्लस ऑर्डर ऑफ एप्सिलॉन स्क्वेयर and the third way is operator form and that is given by gamma is equal to x into partial by partial x plus y into partial by partial y okay this is the operator form and this one is the local form and this one is the global form now students um, in today's lecture we will see that how these infinitesimal transformations will help us in finding the infinitesimals x and y and then what is the benefit of finding x and y students uh, basically these x and y we will find and they will gonna help us in finding the solution of our differential equation okay and uh, these infinitesimals will convert our given differential equation in a separable form and then after that we can easily find its solution but uh, before going further let us find the infinitesimals x and y now students basically we have transformations x bar is equal to f of x y epsilon and y bar is equal to g of x y epsilon and we can also define a identity transformation when epsilon is equal to 0 then we can write the identity transformation as x bar is equal to f of x y 0 and that will become equal to x like we can say x bar is equal to x and similarly y bar is equal to g of x y times 0 is equals to y these are basically identity transformations now students um, you can easily see that i have only used x and y here means one dependent and one independent variable but when you will work uh, for finding partial differential equation then definitely uh, these variables will vary okay now students uh, if we assume that our epsilon is small obviously uh, our epsilon is a small number then we can construct a taylor series we can construct a taylor series of let's say this is the equation number 1 of 1 about epsilon is equal to 0 okay so uh, students if you know that how we can find the taylor series or in particular if you can say that maclaurin series then definitely if i expand the first term that is x bar is equal to f of x y epsilon then it will become equal to x bar is equal to definitely the first term will be f of 0 and f of 0 is actually our identity transformation for x bar okay so i will write here f of x y 0 okay and plus definitely we have to take its partial derivative so we will take partial f by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 into epsilon plus we will take all the other terms in the order of epsilon square means these are these terms are so small that uh, we almost neglect them so we all, all uh, that's why we take it in order of epsilon square and in the similar way i will define y bar is equal to g of x y 0 this is our identity transformations plus partial g by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 into epsilon plus order of epsilon square okay now say this is equation number 2 uh this is your equation number 3 and this is your equation number 4 now students if you let if we let like say partial f like in from equation number 3 like equation number 3 will imply partial f by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 is equal to capital x of xy okay and in the similar way if i let from equation number 4 implies a uh, partial g by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 is equal to capital y of xy so students our uh, equation number 3 and 4 will become so equation 3 and 4 will 
becomes then we will get like equation number three implies um x bar is equal to now our f of x y zero is equals to x okay so i will write here x plus and partial f over partial epsilon into at epsilon is equal to zero is equals to capital f of x y so i will write x of x y plus order of epsilon square and in the similar way the equation number four implies that y bar is equal to y identity transformation plus capital y of x y uh, into epsilon plus order of epsilon square now students these are referred to as infinitesimal transformations these are referred as infinitesimal transformations okay and capital x of x y and capital y of x y are infinitesimals now students let us consider an example and see how we can determine the infinitesimals now students consider a lie group this is an example uh, consider we have a lie group you can check the properties of a lie group and if you don't know that uh, what is a Lie group and how we can check its properties then you can search it in my previous videos we have explained it in detail okay now student this is the Lie group and we are asked that uh, find the infinitesimal transformations like capital X and capital Y now students first of all we will take like we are finding the infinitesimal transformation capital X and capital Y now students actually we are given the value of f because you know here x bar is equal to f okay so students um, x bar is equal to f so we will take partial x bar by partial epsilon because students you know we are trying to find this you can write it here partial f by partial epsilon partial f by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to zero is equal to capital x y and partial g by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 is equal to capital Y of x y now student actually your capital F is equal to x bar and cap uh, sorry small g is equal to y bar okay now student if you will find here partial x by partial epsilon so that um, definitely you have to take its partial derivative and the partial derivative of e raised to power epsilon is as it is and x will be treated as a constant here okay now if you want to find partial x by partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 then definitely e raised to power 0 is equal to 1 so you will get x now in the similar way if you will take y bar is equal to e raised to power minus epsilon y and if you take its partial derivative with respect to epsilon then you will get minus e raised to power minus epsilon y because minus will be uh, like uh, you know the uh, derivative of e raised to the power minus epsilon will be as it is and the derivative of the power will be minus 1 so partial y bar over partial epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 is equals to minus y now students so we can write here like this whole term will be equal to capital x so capital x of x y is equals to x and capital y of x y is equal to minus y and these are your required infinitesimals now students in the coming lectures i will show you that how you can use these infinitesimals to find the change of variables and by using those change of variables we can convert our given differential equation no matter how difficult it is we can convert it into a separable equation now this is all about this lecture where i have uh, explained you that uh, what are infinitesimal transformations and how you can use those transformations to find the infinitesimals thank you so much